What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about what you guys should be doing before some things expire. I don't do this very often, but I feel like I need to because I feel like people do not realize what they're missing out on. You guys always ask me, not maybe not you guys specifically who are watching this video, but some people do ask, how do I have 1.5 million XP? Like, do I get off the game? Do I play every day? I, I simply don't. I, I don't play every day. I get this XP because I know what to grind. I know when to grind it. I know what expires, what doesn't expire. And I use my time wisely. Same thing with the collections. People are like, how do you do the season two collections? Well, obviously I get stubs from roster updates. So if there's cards and packs, I'll eventually buy them, but I also don't buy them as soon as they come out. I try to wait for the right price that I'm willing to pay for that card. And then I buy it. And most of the cards are going to be free. I get some of the free packs for like the home run derby. I got some of the free packs, got some of the base cards. I had to buy some of the more expensive cards, but I waited like a day or so before, before I bought them. Unfortunately, some of them are starting to go back up because they're no longer in stores. So that could have been an investment opportunity that I missed on, but it is what it is. But we're to, what we're talking about today is a few programs that are about to expire, starting with the one that's going to expire the fastest. And that's the VR program, two days and 14 hours. And this is a crucial one. This is BR program five. So if you've never done a BR program, you are missing out on probably 50 to 60 cards for collections, whether it's from the season one collection or whether it's from the season two collection, you are missing out on a lot of cards if you have not done the BR program. And that's because we got the gold round that has four cards. We have the diamond round that has four cards. And then we have the high diamond round that has four cards. All these cards are season two cards, obviously, because we're in season two. That is a total of 12 cards that you can only earn in this program. After this program expires in two days and 14 hours, the only way to earn these cards is to buy them on the market. So now, instead of earning this 90 overall for free, and you need four of them, you got to go buy them for 9,000 to 12,000 stubs each. That can get expensive. Same with the 87s. You're going to spend nine to 13,000 for an 87 because you didn't do the BR program. You could earn all four for free. Now you guys chalk up like 52,000 stubs for the 87s. Same with the golds, 15 to 8,000. Now you got to chalk up like 30 to 60,000 stubs just for gold players to help you in the season two collection. When you could have got all 12 of these cards for absolutely free just from grinding the program before it expired. So be sure you hop on the BR, you grind this program. If you guys are trying to do the season two collection, you're going to earn a bunch of XP along the way. You're going to earn a bunch of season two cards for the season two collection. So not only are you doing the XP reward path, you're tackling the season two collection. You're getting some packs. I mean, it's a no brainer in my book. You're getting a free flawless card. So you're also getting one of the free big cards in Vladimir Guerrero or Brian Dozier. So you're getting one of those as well. You got 10 free show packs. You got more XP, a 10 pack bundle, a 20 pack bundle, 3000 stubs, kind of a no brainer. Get that done before it expires. New BR program comes out on Friday of this week. And also we have a new rank program coming out six days. I believe it's next Tuesday or next Wednesday. I need to finish this one still, but we got six days. We're going to tackle this over the weekend and rank co-op and or some solo ranked as well. But it's the same thing. This one doesn't have like a lot of cards in it. It's got a lot, a lot of XP, like 50,000 XP or so, free packs, free stubs, a bunch of XP, like I said, jumbo pack, uh, and of course your World Series reward and 22,000 XP when you hit this as well. So Mike Trout, Soriano, both really good cards right there. And if you keep on going, you're going to get another 15,000 stubs. That's a significant amount, way better than 3,000 that we saw in BR. You give you 15,000 in the rank program. And then a 20 pack bundle, five pack ball and bundle, and a 10 pack bundle. So you never know, you might find a trout or Otani in one of those packs. And then boom, you make a lot of stubs that way as well, just from grinding the game. A lot of my best pulls have been just from free packs from grinding the game. I don't really buy packs. I pulled, I pulled show, I pulled Mike Trout this year from a regular pack and a conquest map. I pulled Aaron Judge twice from like BR and rank season program packs. Like I don't buy, I don't typically buy packs in the store. I just get them for free, open those packs and I get some good luck. And then finally the events. Also, I want to talk about BR and rank typically every like three to four weeks, we'll get a new BR or 
rank program if you guys want to like see me make this video reminding you to go finish it or go do it just let me know in the comments down below if this reminder does help you out and i'll be sure to get that out for you about a week or so before each program expires however events expires every two weeks so i really can't help you with that one i give you a friendly reminder on discord or twitter or you know make a a, a youtube short about on it or something maybe or a TikTok. but other than that these expire super fast every one to two weeks an event will expire and events are very crucial you do get a rewind pack but a big thing a big stub making thing on events is get your 10 wins or whatever amount of wins it is to get the player card day one of the event as soon as a new event comes out grind those wins it is going to be sweaty it will be sweaty you might not be the first one there but if you're able to get a day one you're probably going to be selling it for 40k when like Two or three days later, like myself, we had the Hall of Fame program a couple days ago, right? 40K, right? It's, this is 40K day one on Sunday. Today, 27K. Could have made some profit. I could have made some profit too if I played the event, but I did the Hall of Fame program. I don't really need the stubs right now, but you're also going to get 30,000 XP. So that's how I'm that far on the XP reward path. I do every single event that comes out. I get all the XP. I do every BR program. I do every rank program. I do every other program. I even got done just doing the mini seasons. Mini seasons gives you 90,000 XP. Look at that. 90,000 of 90,000 earned. A lot of XP. Classic mini seasons right now has 30,000 XP. I need to go back into that one and get that 30,000 XP. I forgot they reset classic mini seasons so you can earn another 30,000 XP. But all these give you a bunch of XP. This is season one and season two. I didn't really do these ones. I should do the season two mini seasons, to be honest with you. That's another, you know, that's another 30,000 XP I can, I can earn too. I thought I earned that one already, but like the legend and live series, I got that one. And then the season two, I didn't do that one, but yeah, mini seasons is a good way. And then other programs, make sure you do all these other programs, especially the new hall of fame ones. Those give you 20,000 XP for each one. And that is how I have so much XP and that's how I have the season two collections done. For the most part, I'm just waiting on some new collections. We have 265 of 400 cards. They're gonna add some more collections in there, especially with the new team affinity coming out. So there's definitely gonna be some new cards that we can earn within collections. But we're pretty much, I don't have every single card as you, as you will see. I don't have every card that you would need to buy, but I have a majority of the cards that you're going to need. You're not gonna need every single card that comes out. You're just gonna need a majority of them and a majority of them are very affordable. And most of them you can get for free if you just grind this stuff prior than, than when it expires. When you know when your golds expire in BR and those little diamond cards, like man, why are these golds so expensive? It's because they're, they're part of the season two collection and you cannot earn them anymore. You have to buy them. But anyways, hopefully this helps you guys out. And it's a good reminder for you guys to go back into MLB The Show if you're still playing the game. Make sure you guys get that Ranked Seasons program done. Make sure you guys get those BR programs done. Make sure you guys check your mini seasons. Make sure you guys check your other programs and get those done if you guys still need XP and some cards for the Season 2 collection. Be sure to like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, leave a comment down below. How much XP do you have? How much of the collection do you guys have complete? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.